pleasant morning to the honorable body of the Philippine Senate. Good afternoon, um, chairs, uh, Senator Ronald Batu and Senator Risa Tevero, Senator Frances and, and Tolentino. Um, we have embarked on a long journey from our hometown to this magnificent hall of Senate to seek for remedy and or redress of certain grievances of some of our beloved constituents. Now being elected, we, I as the mayor and the, and the rest of the municipal officials, being elected and appointed officials of the LGU, who are judged as the stewards of the people's well-being and safety, we certainly do not have the liberty to turn a blind eye to these matters. Gusto ko lang patutuhanan yung sinabi ni Raisa Goma, one of the witnesses, and gusto ko rin pabubulaanan yung sinabi ni Jerin Skilayo kanina na free labas pasok ang mga kabataan doon sa Kapihan because Kapihan is really restricted with three gates, no? Before you can get inside the, the area. So, as the I was the former uh, public schools district supervisor of Sokol East District, and we have uh, data, gathered data, exact data. Uh, February 11, 2019, there were 847 school age students have dropped from the rules from kindergarten to senior high, first to high school due to their a massive exodus to Kapihan. 42 elementary teachers, 43 secondary teachers from Socorro East and West Districts, who are SBSI members, have started incurring absences without notice to their uh, heads and the division office. June, July 2019, 33 elementary teachers and 36 secondary teachers from Socorro East and West Districts have submitted resignation letters, while eight elementary and eight secondary teachers were a wall and were dropped from the rules. So, hindi totoo yung sinabi ni Jerin Skilayo na nakapag-aral ang mga kabataan doon. 847 kindergarten pupils and uh, students, high school students, na hindi na talaga nila pinaaral uh, for more than four years. Ngayon na lang sila more than, na, at more than four years. Four years. Uh, from from uh, their transfer to to Kapihan. So, maraming ginagawa ang DepEd para marisolba ang isyo ito. In fact, uh, yung aming superintendent uh, ilang ilang times na nagbisita doon sa amin including the regional uh, regional director the regional director uh, asik na ron si Bringas uh, uh, doon sila pinuntahan talaga nila doon para makig uh, mag ma-investigate para hikikayatin silang bumalik sa school including yung nag-awal at nag-resign na mga teachers. Pero wala talaga, to no avail. To no wala avail. talagang pinak pinakinggan nila lahat. Yes, uh, go ahead, Sir Dr. Tol. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, Thank you. you. Sir Dr. Uh, in, in the interest of fairness, tinitingnan ko yung mga lumang pictures dito, yung last, yung nagpasyal tayo, sa, ano yung school yung pinuntahan ko doon? Socorro National High School. Socorro National High School. Ama, uh, 1,600 enro enrollees, so, including senior high school. So, kaya ko tinatanong ito, uh, relative to the statement made by the DepEd, kasi dito sa, sa figures na binigay sa, sa amin, uh, mas mataas yung dropout rate noong 2019. 110, noong 2021, surprisingly, 39 lang, bumaba noong 2022. Odette hit Socorro, December 16, 2021. Dinala niyo po ako doon sa high school, yung pataas tayo, yung wasak-wasak yung ano, di ba? Kasama ko kayo, wasak-wasak yung taas. So, hindi kaya, in the interest of fairness, Hindi kaya kaya tumaas yung mga dropout rate eh, dahil nasira na yung mga school doon sa taas yung pinuntahan natin. Hindi yun? Talagang itong uh, kapihan ng dahilan? 
Hindi, 2019. Yeah, yeah, you answer, you answer me. Oh. Uh, 2019 pa lang yun. Yung, yung pumunta sila sa Kapihan. Opo, pero Wala pa yung 2021 na yung 2022 Odette. 2021 si Odette, uh -huh. December 16. Nagpunta naman ako 2022 after Odette. March 2022. Pero noong 2022, konti na lang yung nag-drop out, 25 na. Kasi nag-drop out na noong 2019. Ganun po ba? Passive. Massive. Passive yung drop out si Newton. Ayun, because I have yung mga naiwan na lang yun. Yung naiwan na lang yung nakita mo doon ng mga estudyante. Pero masasaya uh, yung yun mga ba? membro nila. Masasaya yung naiwan. Pati uh -oh, wala namang, natin doon. Wala namang mga... Wala namang, masaya naman yung mga kabataan yes. talaga. Pinahinto lang nila. Yes, that's why I mentioned a while ago that they took advantage of the good-naturedness and hospitality of the, and the character of the people of Socorro. Well, nakita ko nga po yon, And I, I can still vividly remember that visit yung hagdan-hagdan. And then, meron tayong bahay doon sa gitna. Yung green, yung mga teachers, naka-green. Ayun, salamat. Salamat din doon sa... Natikmang kong pagkain nyo, masarap.